Hey everyone, this is David from Hollow Grind. Today we're going to be looking at the ARS Flip Shank Manual Folding Knife. Uh, ARS Knives is run by Alex Shinara and he makes some fantastic folding, fixed, and automatic knives. Uh, the Flip Shank Folder is a small but overbuilt pocket folder with a titanium frame lock. Uh, in terms of features, you have an aggressively curved 1.6 inch blade uh, that's measured diagonally from the bottom of the, of the uh, sharpened edge to the tip. So I just put my ruler like that instead of like this. Um, you have a large large thumb stud on both sides so if you uh, want a knife to be ambidextrous this would be it. Thumb stud here, thumb stud there. Um, it is spaced away from the handle so when you grip the blade your thumb naturally goes round to the thumb stud. It's away from the handle so it's easy to open. Uh, and the handle is nearly half an inch thick. So you're talking about an overbuilt, very small knife. Uh, it has a pocket clip for tip-up carry and a lanyard hole if you want to use that. Uh, this knife is from the Blade Show in Atlanta from 2013 this year and uh, has been uh, causing a, a little bit of stir. People have been, uh, people have been liking this little uh, overbuilt folder. Uh, the open action is very smooth. Uh, I feel very little resistance once the blade is open. Really smooth. Uh, thumb studs space exactly where it needs to be. So when I hold the knife and I grip it, my thumb naturally goes right over the thumb stud, just for easy opening. The frame is a, a distressed titanium handle, on uh, one side, and then uh, G10 on the back. And it comes in different colors. There, this is a light green. There's orange. There's tan. <coughs> there was a a dark green. I'm sure it'll have different uh, different colors coming out. It has a little bit of a texture to it. Um, I don't think the texture really adds too much of a grip, but um, it's there just for, uh, I guess, aesthetics. Um, there are no liners. It's not a liner lock. It's a frame lock. Um, so it seems like this knife was built with uh, hard use in mind. Um, there seems to be a lot of material behind the tip. Um, even so, it's not, it's not made for prying. I wouldn't use it for prying. Um, but you have uh, a really aggressive up, upswept blade and then a downswept, uh, I guess you can call it a swedge, even though it's not contoured, but uh, I'll just call it a swedge. And it comes to a tip right here that's really uh, efficient for sticking, I guess. And if you notice, the tip is right in the center line of the handle. So when you hold the knife and you want to push it through something, it's going to be really efficient. You're going to get all the power that you need right at that tip because of where it's located. Um, you can see some aggressive jimping on the back. It's really good. When I hold this knife, the base of the handle fits right into the palm of my hand. And so I get a really good grip. The contour uh, right here is really nice. It's a perfect, perfect place for it. I feel like I get a lot of control over this blade. Even though it's small, a lot of control. It's really great. Um, the total length when opened is about 5 inches. And the handle length, or the length when closed, is about 3 inches. Uh, if you like this knife, you can find it on our website at www.thehollowgrind.com. And as always, if you have any questions, we can be emailed at contact at or click the Contact Us link on our website. Thank you.